up guys dad dash here coming to you from the road today with another video and this one is more of a thought video right just a video i wanted to talk with you about and ask you you know to think along with me so we're gonna it's not gonna be long we're not gonna get into some some, some any 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 anything crazy but i want to ask this question are we taking gig work too seriously in other words obviously one of the themes of my channel is is talking about treating it like a business collecting data and I'm asking the question are we taking it too seriously and I'm gonna give you my answer and then you can of course give me your answer um, on this um, why you think we are or we aren't but my answer is no no I think I, yes and no right I think that I think that uh, Gig work is very simple, right? It is very a simple. Mile, turn right on Hammonds Mill Road. But I believe that if you're going to do this, you've got to take it serious, right? Um, from the standpoint that you've got to do a few things and then it becomes really simple again, right? So um, many people hear about, well, you're keeping our spreadsheet, you're tracking X, you're tracking Y. And they go, oh my God, why, why would you do all that? It's gig Turn work. Right on Hammonds Mill Road. And they make that conclusion without understanding exactly what it is that I am suggesting one does and what the purpose of that information is and how easy it is to collect that information and then have that information and then react to it, right? And sometimes, and you can look deeper into your numbers or not, but the bottom line is, is if you do a couple very simple steps while you're out, while you're working right alongside your work, that doesn't take long and doesn't take much effort, then you can have everything you need to keep this as simple as possible. Because what isn't simple is owing money to the IRS. What isn't simple is having your car break down and not having money to deal with it. What isn't simple is not having gas money to get, to get your day started. Those are the things we're talking about here. Those are the things that if you're not addressing on an everyday basis, well, that is not just you know that's serious right that's serious stuff in and of itself and that's really what we're attacking and then a side effect of that is since you're collecting the information to conquer those three things you also will be collecting other information that can become helpful to you and that's why again if you follow my my videos if you're looking at my videos if you come across this content and you see it you, what you should see, what you should be able to take from it is the fact that, yes, there is a lot of great data points that you can have, that you can collect, that you can look at, and that may or may not, you can decide whether or not any of those make a difference, whether or not making adjustments based on those makes a difference, and whether or not you believe any relevancy is, is into the main metrics that we all tell you about. And yes, I understand some people are gonna say, well, you know what, the only people worried about miles to money or worried about um, uh, you know, expense, expenses and stuff like that is, is, you, is gig tubers, right? And gig tubers are here because, well, we are, uh, probably doing this a little more than than ultra part-time we're doing this where there's a, a, a portion of our income that we're steady with that we're collecting and that we're relying on a, a small or a very large portion of our monthly income so as a result it becomes important if you're frequently doing gig work if you're frequently gonna have this if you're gonna earn more than the allowable amounts that you don't have to report on your taxes well then you should probably start considering doing this stuff um, and collecting the data and trying to do it as best and as efficiently as you can. Now, with that said, why would I say a new person should pay attention to any of these things? And the reason why is because I will tell you this. It is so important when you start anything new, whether you're a kid starting out at Little League or you're an adult starting out at your first job or you're starting out at your third job or fourth job or a new job or whatever, but day one, it's getting in to the best habits possible. And the th worst thing, the hardest thing I know, and I got this from being someone that interacted with employees, trained employees, had to help employees um, adjust when they weren't being successful and was very deeply involved in some of those processes. And it's this, it is so hard to undo a habit, right? Once you start developing the bad habits, 
So my premise is start developing good habits from day one, even if it's ultra, ultra, ultra part time. If you start doing some of these things, right, that I'm talking about, if you start setting aside money, paying out to the three different uh, areas that you should be putting money aside for if you're doing this, even if you're just doing it once a month, that's going to help you tremendously because if you start doing those things and they become part of your processes and you start taking your four core screenshots every time you're out, then you will always have it. Let's say you say, you know what, I'm, I'm not even that worried about it. Like I'm, I'm, I'll, 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 I might keep track of those things. I might not. But if you're doing your four core screenshots every time you're out, saving them in a little file on your phone, then if you ever need to get to that information, you can always take it and you have an information, whether you utilize a spreadsheet that I give away for free or you have your own. Those four core screenshots are the most important things you can do for yourself in keeping those records. Now, if you don't want to have to keep all those screenshots, then you can do like I do. I keep them. I keep all my screenshots from all of my shifts for 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 um, 14 days, and then I get rid of them. I used to do 30 days, and now it's 14 days, and I just I keep them there just to make sure there's no problems, there's no issues, and make sure that you know my records are all good. But I just keep them for 14 days. If you do that right, you keep them for 14 days, or or you just just keep the screenshots themselves. You will always be able to go back and recreate what's going on. Now, the only thing you wouldn't be, what I would recommend if you were not going to manually track your miles, right, which I really would recommend you do at least that, then add in, you know, take a picture of your odometer, uh, you know, at the beginning when you, when you get an order and, or, and you could even just say, hey, when you arrive at the restaurant, take a picture of your odometer. Uh, and then when you are pulling away from the customer, take a picture of the odometer. Um, or just, or like I said, you can literally do a restaurant to restaurant. So first restaurant you show up at, take a picture of your odometer or better yet, when you leave your driveway or you turn your app on, take a picture of your odometer, um, pull up to the first restaurant, picture of your odometer, next restaurant, picture of your odometer. At least you're going to have order for order for order for order for order, a record of your odometer readings. And then when you get, when, once you file out of the app, Take a screenshot of your final earnings and right next to that, take a picture of your odometer. And then you can do those things. Listen, what I'm talking about is these are, you know, these are things that I think the basics that you should be doing. So no, do I think we're taking this too seriously? Not at all. Because I believe that these type of things, helping people out to see easy ways to do this stuff, easy ways to collect the data that they need, easy ways to be involved in their numbers, um, you know, are things that we, because this is a business that you're running, right? This is a business, whether you like it or not, it's a business and you need to have a business-like approach. And I, I acknowledge it's not, it's not a real business. You don't own a business. You don't own anything, but you have to act like you do, right? You have to act like you do and you have to approach things like you do. And if you do, you will make sure you're covered. You will get through this. You will make some sort of money, but you know, you, you're, this isn't going to make you rich just doing working these apps alone. Although you can make a decent income that can support yourself. There are people out there doing it, but you got to do it. You've got to do these small little fundamental things, get used to doing these things. And there's easy, easy ways of doing it and documenting it. That doesn't involve having to buy an app that doesn't involve having to do to, um, invest large amounts of money uh, and you do that and you just take that file of that day, move it into a file, store it on your computer and keep it. Or better yet, store it on your computer and document it on your spreadsheet, then save the spreadsheet. And saving the spreadsheet is going to be a lot less data and a lot less room. And as soon as you get done doing that and documenting all your stuff, delete the file and save the spreadsheet. And that way, if you ever get uh, an issue where you need to be called, you, know, you need to go to the IRS, you need that, whatever, you have it right there, uh, all the data that you've recorded. And then, like I said, if you're also using a third party mileage tracking app as a secondary verification form of, you know, a form of verification for the miles you're driving, you'll be well protected and well ready if anything happens. But no, I don't think that, I don't think you can say that we are in any way. Um, taking it too seriously. I think if you're not taking these, the, what I've talked about here in this video today, if you're not taking that serious, 
if you're not doing something along those lines, if you're not doing something to collect the data we've talked about, then you're making a big mistake and I think it will come back to haunt you and I think you will find, and I think if you do start paying attention to the things I'm talking about and looking at your numbers and trying to understand the numbers that you're generating, you may also find some answers as to why you're maybe not as happy with things, if you're not happy with things, if you feel like you're not making money, and you may find some answers within there, and you may be surprised at what you see. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening today. I got to run in here and pick up an order. As always, stay safe, stay profitable, and I'll talk to you soon.